Now for the third part of part B, we've got to find out the vector P to Q. And we know where P was at time T, and we know that Q was up here, say, at time T. So we want to find out this vector up through here, P to Q. Well, going from P to Q is going to be O to Q minus O to P. Okay, P to Q, back in this direction, that's minus O P plus O to Q. All right. So all we need to do now is just write down these vectors. O to Q is the vector Q. We could write it in column vector form as 3T over 4T minus 2. And then we've got to subtract O to P, which is a column vector, is going to be 1 plus 2t over 1 plus 3t. And if we subtract these, you end up with, for the top line, you get t minus 1. And for the bottom line here, you're going to get 7t minus 3. Or you could write it in i's and j's, and it would be t minus 1 in the i direction, followed by 7t minus 3 in the j direction. Alright?